Okay. Just wanted to welcome you all to our seventh annual uh, conference again. Uh, this is the Immersive Learning Research Network's seventh uh, time around, uh, the second year in a row that we're completely online, uh, hosting as our platform here in Verbella. Um, we thank them as our, one of our uh, gold sponsors. Uh, and uh, I am going to turn this over to uh, our general chairs. Uh, Kai Arenli and Alexander Klippel. Thank you, Jonathan. As always, a pleasure. Um, I will just uh, briefly um, address everyone in uh, Kai's and my name. So it is our distinct pleasure to welcome you all to the Sevens Immersive Learning Research Network Conference. Um, ILRN is a young, dynamic, and very timely organization with the potential to create a global community. This dynamic, the breadth, the excitement, and the opportunities make iLearn different from other conferences and events, and it takes a village to make this event happen. Um, and I don't know how to advance the slides. I apologize for that. Can I do this? Oh, no, I do know. Right. Ah, technology. There you go, the village. <laughs> yes, and we could have not been more fortunate as we only asked for a village and we got the world. Uh, so the organization of this event, event involved over 50 people from all over the world who came together, driven by their belief, conviction and enthusiasm for everything immersive. Uh, we had the pleasure to work with academics, educators, practitioners, industry, enthusiasts, and many more who all provide their perspective, their wisdom, their expertise in immersive learning and synergized it into a four week long conference, or as Jonathan said, a festival. Uh, we hope, <laughs> the dog and phone at the same time, sorry about that. <laughs> we hope. Uh, that you're as excited as we are, uh, that you will join us in the various uh, sessions and events, uh, that you will share your insights and thoughts, and that you will take home with you new ideas, new friends, and curiosity to learn more, engage more, and experience more. Uh, many people are essentially to the organization of this conference, um, and you will get a quick overview in the next hour. Um, but I just want to take a minute while I have the microphone uh, to just very profoundly thank Jonathan, Mark, uh, and very much so Heather uh, for their tireless work on making this event happen. So please join us and transcend into iLearn 2021. Enjoy yourself and engage with your fellow enthusiasts. Thank you. Hello, I'm uh, Daphne Konomu. I've been uh, following ILRN since 2015 in Prague, and I'm very delighted to see the conference not only continuing, but also growing and actually delivering a very successful event, overcoming the difficulties and restrictions imposed by the pandemic. This year, the conference program includes 166 contributions, 110 in the academic stream, and 56 in the non-traditional and pra practitioner stream. Content of those contributions is interdisciplinary. Uh, we have technical uh, contributions in the technical sector, pedagogical, social, and ethical in the human computer interaction uh, and game design. Uh, they cover also a range of technologies spanning from VR, augmented reality, mixed reality, 360 interactive video, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, haptics body agents, robotics, analytics. Uh, applied focus of this work falls in research, practice, policies, research to practice and uh, research to policies. The learning sectors cover the entire range from primary to higher education, as well as vocational learning and technical education, workspace training, informal community and lifelong learning. 
those contributions have been organized in 10 tracks uh, and a special session. The tracks evolved based on our experience of the areas of interest of uh, the LRM network. Authors submitted their contributions on those tracks. We did it in a slightly different way this year. Usually uh, the authors submit uh, their submissions and, and then we organize them in, in, uh, in, in different uh, thematic areas. Uh, this year, we asked the authors to position themselves uh, within uh, these 10 tracks. Uh, this year, we have a very good representation with contributions uh, as well as uh, reviewers from Europe, from Western Europe, UK, Ireland, Portugal, uh, Central Europe, Germany, Austria, Romania, Eastern and Northern Europe with representation from Russia, Norway, and Mediterranean countries, Greece, Italy, Spain, Cyprus. America, of course, uh, Canada, South America, Ecuador, uh, from Asia, uh, China, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Israel, India, South Africa, and Australia. Academic papers have been um, uh, peer reviewed uh, by three reviewers who also selected uh, themselves the tracks they felt that they fall closer to their expertise. The submissions have been reviewed on the basis of relevance, originality, quality, and learning and the reviewers provided justification for their decisions. This is a process that helps us ensure high academic standards and support authors to improve their work. From the number of contributions presented uh, in each track, we noticed that uh, this year there is an increased volume of research in uh, K-12 STEM education and in medical and healthcare education. And of course, the basic research and theory in immersive learning, uh, which is a topic that falls in the core interest of ILRN and its members. In 2019, we produced a special issue on uh, exploring, a special issue in a journal, I mean, uh, on uh, exploring immersive technologies in learning in the Journal of Universal Computer Science. And last year, we produced a special issue in immersive media in connected health with frontiers in uh, virtual learning in, med in um, virtual reality in medicine, which is currently ready to be published. Provided this year, there's a large number of submissions in these areas, we're looking in putting a special issue related to uh, medical uh, and healthcare education and in K-12 uh, uh, STEM, and of course, in the area of basic research and theory in immersive learning. So keep an eye on the website for relevant announcements. From my side, I would like to welcome you to LRN 2021, and I wish you all have a fruitful experience. You get loads of interesting information, you network, and you have fun. Thank you. All right, hi everyone. Um, so welcome everybody to the um, next immersive learning conference. I'm so excited to be standing on the other side of the stage for once. Um, my name is Andreas Dengel. I've been a participant for many, many years now. And yeah, um, it's really exciting to be part of this amazing team. And let me welcome you to a bunch of super cool opportunities um, that I'm going to walk you through uh, in a minute. So we have 49 oral presentations um, of which we have 30 full papers and 19 short papers. We will have um, some poster presentations, uh, 37 in the expo hall. So we will have uh, um, a couple of different locations at the virtual campus that you're all um, free to explore here. And one of those is uh, our super cool expo hall where all the poster presentations will be displayed um, for the whole month, actually. Um, we have a doctoral colloquium, which will be also um, presented in the expo hall and in a dedicated session as well. Also, we're about to have four keynote um, sessions and several feature uh, featured presentations, um, and we're about to start with a featured panel uh, named Looking Back Insights from a Century of Cumulative Research in Immersive Transformations with Chris Didi, Jeremy Balenson, Mel Slater, and Manny Johnson Glenberg. This will be super interesting, and I'm very excited to hear this. Yeah, followed um, by the psychology behind learning in virtual spaces, together with Alex Klibble, um that you um, already met here. And yeah, uh, together with Alex Howland, um, who is the co-founder and president from Verbella. Yeah, um, another thing that I want 
to point out is the use of SCAD. Um, some of you might already have seen their, yeah, it's working. Uh, some of you might already have seen their own sessions um, in SCAD on the iLearn website. So I just want to point out that you have numerous possibilities um, there to filter and to adjust your own time zone. And you can search for either titles, for topics, or for speakers. So um, I would all, yeah, really advise you to adjust your time zone to um, your local time zone that, that you um, have a good overview of all the sessions. And then you can easily navigate through all the different um, occasions. Okay, before switching over to working, Nope. Um, before switching over to uh, the practitioner stream, I will. I want to give a huge shout out to our, um, yeah, to our giant program committee. And you, you, you see, I had to use a super tiny font in order to gather all on one slide. And we've grown in the last couple of years, and this is so cool to see this island family grow and grow again. And um, yeah, just a huge shout out to everyone who contributed to um, reviewing submissions and taking the time to write the reviews and really uh, to gather their expertise to improve the work of our authors. So yeah, thank you everybody. And if you are interested in serving as a program committee member, we're always looking for additional members for our group. Just sign up on the ILEARN web, uh, website and yeah, we're happy to welcome you. Okay, now I think the next one is Heather. I guess, yeah. That I didn't. Oh yes, I have slides. Ah. <laughs> Great. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you are around the world. I am here just to talk for just a, less than 60 seconds about workshops, panels, and special sessions. I have been overseeing the schedule. I have spoken and emailed with a lot of the presenters in preparation for this conference. And it has been my honor to work with them, to rehearse with them, and to review all of their materials and look at what they have planned for you. This group that I am speaking of, I'd like to point out to you, is a special group because in many cases, this either required an intense amount of coordination to bring multiple people to campus to present for you, or they're going to be presenting for an hour or more straight with no breaks. So I'd like to remind you that everyone that has put in for a workshop or a panel or a special session agreed to go well out of their way to present for you in this conference. So um, there are three workshops on the slide, there are three panels, and there are three special sessions. There are, of course, many other sessions in the schedule labeled workshops, panels, and special sessions, and I encourage you to partake in all of them. We tried very hard not to have any of these events overlap, so that meant if you could attend it, you aren't being um, locked out, hopefully. So I just wanted to give you a shout out for these events, and that is uh, my slide. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Stace. Hey. Oh, can we only hear each other? No. Oh. We, we can do that. We have to find a blue circle on the floor. <laughs> hmm. Can't hear the public now. And the speaker. Hi. Sorry. Give me I didn't have my mic on. Very special warm welcome to all our guests here today for the seventh conference of the Immersive Learning Research Network. It really is my honor to be the practitioner chair this year. We have 122 presenters in the practitioner stream from 11 countries, including Australia, Belgium, Canada, Germany, Kenya, Mexico, Scotland, Singapore, Spain, the UK, and the USA. Our presenters are from schools, colleges, universities, technical ins institutes, and organizations from all around the world. 
We have 51 original and innovative sessions contributing to leading edge experiences and insights around immersive learning research and practice. There are a variety of traditional and creative presentation types, including oral talks, posters, panels, workshops, and special sessions. You can find these sessions integrated throughout the duration of the conference, filter by type when you log into your Skedge account. In the practitioner stream, you're going to find a range of XR applications, technologies, and different pedagogical approaches that can be used to create engaging experiences for learners across the lifespan. And some of these technologies, they include augmented reality, virtual reality, WebXR, 360 photos and videos, digital games and simulations, embodied agents, robotics, haptics, learning analytics, digital art, NFTs, and more. And our practitioners are represented from many learning sectors, including early childhood education, K-12 education, community outreach programs, higher education, workforce training, technical education, and also organizational development. And the last thing that I want to mention is that this year we have four special awards for the practitioner stream. That includes outstanding contribution to pedagogy, outstanding contribution to research, innovation in K-12 education, and innovation in higher education. I will post a link in the chat to a Google form for nominating practitioner awards. So as you're attending sessions, please fill out this form and nominate any presenter that you think is worthy of being considered for an award. We're relying on our community members to, to let us know what you think. And uh, that's what I have to say. Um, I hope you really enjoy the conference and uh, and uh, say hello if you see me. And next up, I'd like to invite Jennifer up, Jessica up. Hi, everyone. This is uh, wonderful to see people here. The iLearn conference is one of my very favorite conferences um, of the year, and I'm thrilled to um, be here with Paula to talk about the new initiative that we're going to be kicking off um, that's going to be focused on the uh, K through 12 space and all of the teachers, researchers, and developers working in that space. We are really excited to put together a team that will focus on meeting and building with each other, networking and um, sharing common discoveries and best practices and really getting a chance to support each other and grow this initiative. Uh, Paula, do you want to say a little bit more? I'm not sure if I can pull slides or anything. We just have the one slide, but I will. Okay. I will add a link into the chat and if you're interested in joining us in kicks, we have an expression of interest form. It's just a simple Google form. Please fill it out so that we, we know if you um, are interested, we'd love to have you join us and, and look forward to all the um, amazing things that we're going to be doing together. Yeah, we're super excited. We're planning to have monthly gatherings so that we will, and each month we're planning to have, you know, a theme or a presenter who will um, talk about the work that they're doing that we can uh, share with each other and give feedback and help each other um, grow. So please do fill out that form of interest and we're going to plan an event during this conference so that we can kind of start to get together and have these conversations initially during the conference and then we'll start planning to have monthly meetings after that. Thanks everybody. Thank you all.
Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Mina Johnson Glenberg, and uh, I want to say thank you for allowing me to be part of this amazing group. And uh, can you hear me? Thank you. Yep. yep we can Great. Um, I just want to uh, quickly say that uh, everyone should go to the expo hall after this or uh, after the next uh, panel, which is going to be fabulous. And uh, when you go to the expo convention center, it's set up in this amazing way that all the posters are in the back. So when you come in, you're going to first see our sponsors and we would love to uh, invite you to visit and talk with the sponsors. Uh, most of the booths will have people in them. And um, we want to give a special shout out to Verizon. So go to the Verizon beach as well. And when you go to the Verizon booth, be sure and watch the video they made, which is actually a pretty uh, humorous and professional classy video on the promises of 5G. Also, thank you to Douglas Stewart. They've been serving education for over 70 years. Uh, big thanks to Verbella, who they make all this possible. And then a, a nice shout out too to our startups and smaller companies. The first one you'll see as you walk down the B aisle is Plum One. They're the newest and I think best anonymous search engine out there. And so you can go into the booth and actually type in anything you wanna search for and no one's gonna track you. They're also gonna be offering some amazing swag throughout the entire conference, so sign up for that. Grove XR is an all-in-one tool for guiding and using VR. Zoe, zoe.com is a really interesting, easy to use in headset VR editor that allows all students to become creators. You can unleash your students' VR superpowers. They are pretty cool and they're giving away three licenses during this conference, so go sign up for those, okay? And then finally, eLearning Brothers, uh, they've made multiple platforms to manage and create eLearning assets and content. And so they're a really interesting company as well. So talk to them. And if you have any uh, problems connecting with the sponsor uh, or you want the direct emails, just email me and, and I'll get in touch with you at mina at immersivelrn.org. Thanks so much. See y'all. So I'm not sure if you can hear me from the audience or if I have to walk up on stage. We can hear you. Okay, amazing. So um, yeah, yeah, we we um, already heard uh, shortly that there's going to be some doctoral colloquium activities at the conference. So I'm I'm very excited for for those. Um, and uh, Luis and and me, we're going to. Um, lead through through those um guide through those um through those sessions um the doctoral colloquium sessions are mainly a platform for uh, graduate level students in xr or immersive learning research to um, build a network by connecting with other scholars um, to obtain visibility for proposed or ongoing research um, to and to also receive constructive feedback and discuss research research together um, on June 1st, there will be um, talks by five graduate students um, in the doctoral colloquium session. Um, and on June 2nd, it's um, more focused on discussion and networking um, in the doctoral colloquium session. And um, of course, everybody can join and mainly, mainly the discussion is meant to be also between students to get to know each other and network, but also everybody else can join and join the discussion. Yep, um, yep. Yeah, also to promote uh, another um, student forum session here um, because um, it's still possible to submit proposals uh, for this, the divergent thinking session, which is more of a informal um, discussion session um, on iLearn related topics on June 4th and proposals can still be submitted and I will try to paste a link. I'm not yep. sure if this works. Yep, it's, the... it's on the chat, Yuli, yeah. Yes. Um, okay, and, so um, um, you can submit uh, ideas there to discuss. Yep. Yeah, and the, the point, as, as Yuli mentioned, hi, hi everyone, I'm Lewis. So um, as Yuli mentioned, um, the point of the divergent thinking session is to have open discussions, collaborative brainstorming and thinking out loud um, activities. It's open to all the participants of the, um, of the island uh, conference. So um, 
students involved. We do we do look forward to, to see students, to meet with the students, to help building this community, and we're very excited to see um, all the all the work. And um, we're really looking forward to this conference. So thank you. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the 7th International Conference for the Immersive Learning Research Network. My name is Maya Georgieva and I'm the co-author of the State of Exa and Immersive Learning Showcase Program Chair for this year. Uh, it's exciting to once again see so many uh, practitioners, academics, researchers and entrepreneurs working in the field of Exa. And we want to celebrate that with the Immersive Learning Project Showcase a reception and awards on, on Wednesday, May 26, where you're not only going to be able to hear about projects, but step into some of these projects and explore them uh, through uh, various so web, web XR platforms. So I invite you to join us throughout the conference and certainly for uh, the evening reception, uh, at which we also will um, invite you to vote as the audience for the three Immersive Learning Showcase Awards. This year, we are mapping those awards to the three research question areas identified in the State of XR uh, and Immersive Learning Report. And those are opportunities in immersive le learning, breaking barriers to adoption and catalysts looking into the future. So I'm very excited um, to kick off this amazing event and, and look forward to learning from you, connecting from you, and seeing all the work that you've been able to do over the year. Hey everybody, my name is Evan. How are you guys doing? I'm coming to you from all the way here in Houston, Texas, and I'm here to talk to you about the fun part of this conference. Uh, so you think about social networking and you're thinking like, well, what's there to do in a virtual environment here? Uh, we try to do uh, our best here. I mean, uh, there is no uh, happy hour with uh, drinks and uh, orders and stuff like that, but uh, hopefully you guys can actually participate in some of the events that we've actually uh, put together here. Uh, you can see on the slide here, we have some uh, speed networking events, uh, uh, kind of like speed dating of sorts, uh, an island pie and coffee session, uh, birds of a feather sessions, game night, flash mobs, haptic mixed reality lounge and supper club, and even a mystery game. Uh, so all these things will be explained to you when you guys uh, actually uh, come and participate. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's not, of course, going to be as uh, as if you're in a club or in a happy hour uh, situation, but it's going to be close. Uh, we did our best here anyway. So hopefully you guys can join us. And the uh, main thing is we actually want uh, you guys to actually network beyond the conference. I mean, yes, you guys are here to basically attend the conference, to uh, the, look at the slides, go on the tracks and all that. But uh, also we want you guys to actually uh, meet people that you normally don't actually get to talk to from other tracks, for examples, and all that, so, and from other houses. So uh, we encourage you to actually participate in our events over here and uh, look out for these events in your schedules and please uh, come and join us. It's going to be fun. Thank you. Is it my turn yet? <laughs> yep. Yep. OK. <laughs> Hello, guys. Um, yeah, I will, I will turn our sponsors off. Uh, for a second. Uh, 
Hi. Um, the other ones are real. Um, they are not just chatbots working on the my command. So that would be an, a rumor. So um, yeah. But so now that you see a real person, I, I thought I, I greet you um, um, for a second. And now I, I'm going to turn back to to our uh, list that Andy has been um, 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 talking about already. So. Um, I'm based in Vienna, so um, so now it's afternoon time. We have our had to have our coffee. I hope you get your drinks ready when you um, join those wonderful sessions that are um, um, yeah full steam ahead, so to speak, because um, one is right um, waiting next doors, and um, um, Andy mentioned it. It's uh, having Chris Didi, uh, Minor Johnson Glenberg, which you have heard um, um, already. You have Mel Slater and um, Jeremy. Um, Balenson. And um, after that, we were not stopping there today. We were giving you like the, 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 the full thing already today. So we're gonna, um, um, how do I change those slides? Yeah, that's the one. After that, um, Alex, who you heard at the beginning, will talk to Alex um, Howland and well, bring your questions if you have any tech questions about Verbella. I think that might be the time. No kidding. Um, ask some serious questions, please. But um, I think that might be very interesting because we're living in those yeah, transcending times. Um, uh, we, we move back into our um, home offices and hopefully we're going to move out of those real soon. But we're going to stick with um, virtual platforms and immersive environments, I think, quite a while and maybe forever. So, yeah. That will be the time. So after that, we are not done yet. We're going to have an astronaut. We're going to have Shauna Pandier, um, who's, well, kicking off tonight. And, and she's going to talk about the future of space medicine and XR. That, that will be one exciting talk I'm looking forward to. to um, and we're very thankful and grateful for all those um, keynote speakers, featured speakers, and panelists who have been um, yeah, um, able to make it and, and, and being part of this. So tomorrow, we're going to start with another exciting um, panel, which is looking forward the next 100 years of XR research. Um, so we have Ekaterina Predolova Forland, we have Jessica Brillhard, we have Julian Radu, and we have my friend Johanna Pirker, and I hope her PCs back up and ready to work for tomorrow because that had some problems yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that will be on Tuesday. Next up, also on Tuesday, we'll be advancing research and learning in Africa. And we're very grateful that Judith Okwankwo will be uh, joining um, iLearn 2021 and give us her um, presentation about um, advanced research and learning in Africa. And then, um, well, we have a very interesting closing keynote. So don't just run away after Tuesday. Um, and we will have Jesse Shell. Um, I, I, I don't think we will have to, to introduce him some more, but he will talk about the future of XR in education. And that will be um, the closing keynote on June 10th. So therefore, I don't think we will need to lock the doors that you all stay in. But I wish you a very pleasant conference. Um, transcend yourself, immerse yourself, and I think I will give it to who, who's up next. Oh, we do have featured speakers. Yes, I totally forgot. No, um, I, I, I didn't have them on, on my uh, slide. Um, yeah, we do have featured speakers um, uh, alongside with the keynotes and the panels. So therefore, we have, um, we're grateful to have um, Kurt Squire Chandra uh, Dali, Dylan Power, Travis Feldler, John Falk, and Sriya Shintalapali. And um, I, 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 I tell you, you don't miss one of them because they are also very interesting people and have very inspiring talks. I have all, uh, already um, heard some of them and yeah, I can only promote them. So yeah. Now, and thank you to the sponsors, and I think that's not mine to do. So I will just leave the stage and wish you a very pleasant conference. Thank you, everyone um, on the stage here. Can we get a big hand of applause for all these amazing 
volunteers. Uh, in, what an incredible team we have. This is, I learn as a growing network, high quality research, incredibly uh, high quality practice, uh, industry partnerships, um, no, this could not be possible without um, such an incredible group of leaders. And I'm humbled and absolutely just, it's beyond words uh, th that that uh, I, I get to be a part of this. Um, and it's it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. I learn really, really is, is, has been working to, um, you know, go after the mission of our organization, which is to, to innovate and discover and showcase uh, kind of what works for immersive learning in XR. Um, and these people behind me uh, on the stage uh, su have supported that mission in such incredible ways. Um, and uh, we're, we're looking to do uh, many things going forward, but up on, on on the screen, you see, uh, you know, these, uh, this, the, the, the sponsors are, are from the previous slide and, uh, they also are helping us because these, these conferences are not, are not, uh, are not free. They, there's a fair amount of effort that goes into the, the vetting and the peer review. Um, the, the, the campus costs money, the advertising costs money. Um, and we, while we're a nonprofit, um, we're definitely, uh, you know, there are certain costs that go around, uh, this intricate, uh, coordination. Uh, so thank you again. I wanted to thank the sponsors, uh, first, because without them, this couldn't be possible. I want to thank also our virtual campus partners, um, here on the Verbella campus. They've been collaborating with us, uh, over the last, uh, well, like, uh, nine months, um, uh, and, and we want to give a shout out, uh, to those, those partners, uh, Heather Dodds has been an incredible steward helping us to develop that capacity. Uh, but they are working with us on figuring out how to use this powerful collaboration platform, uh, for, uh, teaching and learning, uh, in, in a variety of ways. Again, our paper reviewers, thank you all for the the paper reviews that you uh, put in to help us. Without you, we could not have this high quality research because we need that scientific check and it's your expertise that really helped us um, to get there. Uh, the volunteers, uh, we've got a number of people who are volunteering their time uh, to be able to uh, help us uh, do social events and the welcome pad to do tech support um, to, to help us out on the, on discord, um, and, and volunteers are what makes I learn really work. So thank you. Thank you so much. I want to give a, 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 a underscore, a, a big thanks and gratitude, uh, to our, I learn houses of application, our geographic chapters and our initiative leaders, uh, checks, uh, XR women, the new kicks initiative. And of course, the state of XR and immersive learning project. Thank you all for helping us to, to create the network. Um, the members of the network have active things to do to help us with the mission in their areas, uh, because of you. So thank you so much. Um, of course, the board of directors as a, as a nonprofit organization, the island board of directors is keeping us on track, helping us with policies, setting the direction uh, and, and the priorities for what I learn should be doing. Um, and uh, an absolutely vital top role uh, for leading uh, the organization. Uh, also the executive leadership, um, I'm proud to be able to include um, Mark Lee um, and uh, Heather Dodds. Uh, as well as, uh, you know, to, to a large extent, Dennis Beck has been there helping us uh, on a day to day basis to help the operations um, and, and, and uh, be switchboard operators for all these different uh, lenses. Uh, we want to also uh, thank the international co chairs, all the people who are helping us to promote the, the call for papers and promote uh, what, what's going on well ahead of time. Thank you. And then finally, again, yes, 
this I Learn 2021 organizing committee who met every single week and really put form to the vision for what we wanted to do this year. This is the first time we've done this festival. It's a month long or a, a, a conference. Um, and uh, it's really going to be fantastic. We are so excited about this. Um, and oh, I'm uh, finally. I don't think that got onto the slide, but uh, the 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 publication uh, the publishing chair uh, Anasol uh, Peña Rios uh, somehow got missed off of the the slide. I am so sorry, Anasol. Uh, she has been incredible at helping us to connect the dots of after vetting, what do we do with these papers to get into um, the high quality publications? And there are many technical, uh, social and other kinds of uh, coordinations that, that need to go with that. So thank you, thank you, Anasol. Um, and I apologize if I missed somebody that's such a big, a big community. Um, and uh, and uh, that's I think that's it. So up next um, in this very room, um, we have our special invited uh, plenary panel um, on insights from a century of cumulative research in immersive transformations uh, with Chris Deedy, Mina Johnson, Glenberg, Jeremy Balenson, and Mel Slater. Uh, and all four of them ab absolute you know, giants in the field have done incredible amounts of work. Uh, I, th I think we all uh, can uh, um, uh, thank them for helping us be where we are. Um, so with that, I think the main event has finished. Uh, we're going to stick around for this next uh, presentation and we can network, we can take some selfies, um, but the live st stream will now close. Uh, thank you once again to our videographers, Tony Cube Studios, and the YouTube audience. And you can go ahead and end the recording.